Okay. Oh, this is angled. So, here we go. This is what I look like after the 12 weeks. This is before, and this is after. I'm happy with it. I weighed in this morning at 157.3 pounds. Yes, I didn't get down to 155, which was very optimistic, and I didn't get down to 157, but I am close and I'm happy with how I look. So let's look back at my time in these 12 weeks. This week, like I said from the last video, it's now Monday the 18th of March. This is the day that I officially start my 12 week cut. I'm still gonna continue it after the 12 weeks, but I'm just gonna like maintain what I have then. But right now it's about in the ne next 12 weeks, getting down, uh, losing the weight. I'm currently 74.5 kg. I'll probably get to maybe about 68, 69, depending on how I look and how I feel. <laughs> Because I enjoy doing my videos, like if you want to go into doing social media, I would say like you have to enjoy it because we'd sit there and like we're recording and we're getting excited about a different angle we got or like a picture and people are looking at us like, you're weird. First presentation done, went really, really well. I enjoyed it, got a big buzz from it. I'm a little bit nervous again to the next one. It's a wonderful day today, Ben. Sun's out, weather's nice. What's that? Reese's Pieces! Just what I need to finish up the packet! Mmm... I love peanut butter, I do. Mmm... <laughs> this is what I currently look like, just relaxed, not flexed. I've not tried this Rockstar juiced... Uh, Mango, orange, passion fruit. That's good, that's good. I had the mixed fruits yesterday in that white can. That was good, that was good. Has it rendered? Has it rendered? Has it rendered? Nope, it sounds 70%. It's the next day. I stopped filming because I had so much on. I had so many programs to make, a load of things came up. I was messaging loads of people um, about sessions and obviously trying to build this PT business up. So I am struggling a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, uh, just to try and balance everything because I've been going to the gym at like 11 o'clock at night till about midnight trying to get my sessions in because during the day I'm just trying to make sure I give people uh, as much of my time as possible. I don't feel like bad as in like, oh, I feel really tired. 
Uh, that was only the other day when I literally got like no sleep. But right now I feel fine, I feel okay. It's just trying to balance everything. And that's just gonna take some time. That's something I'm gonna realize and understand a lot more uh, this week. Because there's a few things I really need to target this week, what my priorities are, which is to get the website done and sorted. I'm gonna be using Wix because I want that to be a place where people go to that they can email me from, from sorry, uh, about my one-to-one -one PT, but also I want to have an online service, hopefully up and running within, hopefully this week, um, try and plan that and get that sorted as well, because I want to be able to help you guys that want my help but can't get it one-to-one. -one. So yeah, I'm excited and I'm so happy because it is now the end of the 12 weeks. I'm not gonna go and chuck a load of weight on because it's not what I want to do. Like I said, I want to maintain through summer, but it has been an unbelievable journey. I hope that you liked some of the clips that you saw yesterday, just from some of the videos and the highlights uh, that have happened throughout the 12 weeks so far. And it honestly has been life-changing. And yeah, it's just next, next level because I just want to work. Literally, I just want to work. So I'm gonna make up some food now because at half past eight, the printing shop in Petersfield, you know, like the vinyl stuff that you put on t-shirts, and they open up, so I'm gonna call them, and hopefully I can get my logo and personal training put on the back of my t-shirt. It wasn't the best start to the day that I wanted. You know, when you're like in a really, really good mood, everything's amazing. Uh, I just had the first injury with a client, and he sprained his ankle. He went over on one of the boxes a bit uh, awkwardly. Um, so yeah, put me in a bad mood a little bit, but I'm not gonna let that get to me too much, but it made me realize that I need to create a load of things and put things into place in my um, one-to-ones uh, in the new gym that I'm at. So I have a very, very busy day. So now I need to head home and I need to do j just loads, just loads. I've been spending the last hour or so writing my stuff for to the do list today. I finished all my documents that I needed to do. So I got that in place, I'm happy with it. I have like two lots of training to do this month. That is through Everyone Active, but it's gonna help me with Everyone Active also being at the Grange, but one-to-one -one personal training with my own company. So I'm looking forward to that, we got that in place. Now I just need to edit videos, upload them, like I always seem to do, and I say this all the time, but that's just my life again, I love it. And then I need to plan a session to go to the gym and train tonight because I am feeling a good one today. I am feeling a good one. Woo! Yes, I'm ready to go and um, work out. I'm excited. I'm going to absolutely smash this. But first, I need to write out the plan of action. I was going to be training with Mel again today. However, she is such a busy schedule and has been caught up with a load of things. So... I'll be going solo today, which is fine because I can record a load of things. I'm gonna record a load of exercises to put on Instagram. I'm then also gonna record a load of stuff to film for YouTube so I can continue to make some tutorial stuff for you guys because that's the stuff that I like to do and I want to teach you guys many things. I just don't wanna get caught up and get sidetracked and procrastinate. I literally just, I know what I need to do. I'm gonna film it, I'm gonna get it done and I'm not gonna have that mental blockage of like, Scott, stop being lazy. Film, okay? You know what you gotta do. So we're gonna get this done, we're gonna get this uploaded to you guys, and I just want to push myself as much as I can. As you can hear, the weather isn't the best. It's raining, it's been like this now for about three days, but we're not gonna let that stop us. I was sat at home and I was like, oh, Scott, you're getting a little bit tired. And I was like, Scott, you're not getting tired, all right? You've got things to do, let's get on with it. I hope no one's in the gym. I don't think anyone is in the gym because I need to bash through a lot. And then when there's like a load of people in there, you, you can't really do much. So and let's hope that it's not. We're gonna go in and get everything done. I have my clipboard with all the exercises that I need to film. There's quite a few. I've got to film warm-ups, I've got to film stretches, all in this area right here. It should probably take me no longer, hopefully, than about 30 minutes or so. That's what I'm gonna say, because I need to literally get through these, like, bish, bash, bishity, 
bosh. I finished up filming all the workouts for a client's program. However, I've left now because people obviously came into the gym. I finished up for now. I will be back a little bit later. I've not done my workout or filmed like three of the other workouts I was going to do. I filmed all my clients' workouts, which is the main thing. The people came into the gym and because of the type of gym it is, it's like, it's not small, but it's not big. So I know the people that have gone in there and the type of training that they would do, like they use quite big space in the gym and with my filming and stuff, they'll be walking around and not that's a problem, but certain things I wanted to do requires a lot of space. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna edit up all the videos, I'm gonna add them to the program, come back a little bit later, get my session in and everything should be okay. Busy days guys, busy days. And I do apologize if these next couple of vlogs and videos do seem a bit all over the place, but I'm showing you my life, I'm showing you what I get up to, what my day to, what my day to day is like. But this is what happens, okay? When apparently you start up a business, shit's all over the place, okay? And it's up there, it's down there. You, you don't know what you're doing after the time. So yeah, we'll be back later and, oh my God unsociable hours and I signed up for this and I absolutely love it. About two hours later, I'm still in the same spot. I'm editing up videos still. I've decided to take my rest day literally like six days early and then we take on a Sunday. I'm going to have to take it this Monday because I've got to get these videos done literally as soon as possible. I literally feel like this entire video so far is me just sat down pretty much editing or like talking to you in my kitchen. So I do apologize. Tomorrow's gonna to be completely different. I've got new clients to train. I've got clients to go back to Midhurst with. So we're gonna be getting more content. Uh, it is just literally, it's not, it's overwhelming in a good way because it's literally making me having to think ahead all the time. It's like mental endurance and I'm slowly getting better at it and I love it so much. But yeah, I'm taking you guys on this journey. Good days, bad days. I'm gonna look back at this and see how far I've come. And this is only the beginning. What's exciting is remembering what I was thinking when I was back at college, that I was gonna to get to this position here. Well, now I'm in the position I wanted to be in a couple of years ago. Now I'm gonna be getting, now what I'm gonna be thinking of doing in the next three to five years and just keep growing on that. Like. I want to travel, get the experience, go to different gyms, and then I want to open up my own. Again, that might change, but right now, I think that'd be awesome. Good morning! Watching Chris and Guzman's latest video, because I've been so busy, I haven't caught up on it yet, and that's never happened, so watching it now, and then I've got a head, and I have two clients this morning. Got a load of things to do for about three to four hours. Uh, come home, get on with a load of work, and then I have more clients tonight and my classes. Uh, when I say classes, I mean my class. Um, I don't know why I say classes. And then my shift, that's what I meant to say. So again, we got a packed full day, and I'm gonna try and make it as interesting as I can because I still wanna get good videos. Ah! <laughs> Ah, it's literally today so far, like in a really good way. I'm just so busy. And I, I absolutely love it, but like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly overwhelmed just a little bit. So I had two clients this morning, one went a little bit over time, which isn't bad, I was catching up with like a friend too, because he came in and he worked out. But now I've got to run through like two videos, film my actual workout, because I feel like I haven't worked out properly in about like three or four days. And then I need to go home, I need to edit those up. I've got this YouTube video to edit up. I then need to create um, circuit, uh, client programs on a new app that I'm using with everyone to make sure that's set up and runs smoothly and properly. Then I need to upload the videos into that too. Then I need to message clients. Then I've got to try and find to, somewhere to print on the t-shirts. I then need to still create a better website for PT stuff. Then still print out flyers get everything planned to get people involved to help me film some stuff. So, welcome to the business stuff, Scott. This is what happens, this is what I love. It's go, 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 but it has been worth it. So now, yeah, it is like 
I, I've repeated this so many times, I'm probably just gonna like call this like how many times can I repeat myself on one video, but like I'm just I apologize for this being all over the place, but again, you're just gonna see the transition, you're gonna see the change. So we're gonna get with the workout. <laughs> Rest for a minute, four exercises, giant set, doing it three times overall. Oh, look where I am again. Oh, my kitchen. Other side, one. Picked up the drink, again, Rockstar. This is the mango, orange, and passion fruit flavor. It's really good. I wanted the mixed berry, which they don't have in there. They haven't stocked it. But yeah, that was really, really good. But yeah, um, there's a car behind me, I think. Oh no, they passed, uh, but I need to head to work. I'm currently on my shift at work. I just thought I'd come into the storage cupboard like I always do and update you guys. I've had my two clients. I thought it was three, but it's actually two. The gentleman that I thought I had is actually tomorrow which is fine. I had to do an induction, take a woman around the gym, but I gained a client through that, so I'm not fast at all. Like, I'm kind of happy about it. And then I'm just about to go in get my top on and set up for the circuit class tonight. I also need a wee, so I need to hurry up. And we've got 16 booked in out of the 20 today, so maybe some more turn up, we don't know. And then I'll speak to you guys after, and then I'm gonna end the video because I need to edit it up and then have it up for tomorrow. So it's been a bit of a crazy Look. Just finished up the circuit guys, absolutely amazing, loved it, 16 people out of 20, smashed it, done well, like I do every single week. Oh, who's, who's this guy? Who's, who's that guy? What I've got to do now is got to tidy up the gym, clean it, tidy up this circuit, got to head home, edit up this YouTube video, upload it for tomorrow like I said earlier because all I seem to do at the moment is repeat myself because I keep forgetting things because there's so much on. Then I've got to go home, edit programs for clients and then make new pro pro programs for clients, session plans for clients that are tomorrow, loads of things, organised, taking on a lot right now but like I said, it's just go, 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 it's life, I love it. You're going to see me get tested to my limits right now because the stress levels are from here to there but we love that. Yeah. There we go, guys. I can't even tell you what I... Looking back on this video, when I edit it, I'm going to be like, Scott, mate, what the hell have you been doing? But I've been working, and I'm not going to lie, I'm very impressed with how uh, I've been doing. I know I've been working very hard. I'm putting the hours in, and I know down the line it's going to pay off. I'll get the rewards. I'm not like... I don't feel drained or anything, like, tired-wise. It's just I feel quite overwhelmed because... You, you guys might have this where you're like, oh, I want to be so busy. I want all the, all the work. I want people to come ask. I want people to ask me for programs or maybe like artwork or something. I don't know, whatever um, you guys are currently doing, but along the lines or something like that. And I'm just like, this is absolutely crazy. This is amazing. But then so many people asking you and then you're like, okay, well, I've got to create that person's program, get that done. But then I've got to create this person's program whilst like three other people ask me for programs. And it's like, oh my God, this is actually amazing. I love it. It's just also trying to then film all my YouTube videos, trying to get Instagram videos out, edit that. So I am trying to get some people on board to help me out with that, pay them to see if like, I, I want to film because like, I don't want to just have someone film me and then they edit it. I still want to be a part of some, like 
a part of my videos. So I want to maybe edit, no, nah, sorry, film my videos and if they can like edit some for me and then if I can edit other things up too. I literally love this. I'm not even joking. Like I don't want it to sound like I'm complaining because I'm not. I'm like, it's more of like a, ah, wow, guys, this is crazy because I knew I was going to get to this point. Okay. I knew I was just going to work, work. And that was it. Like, I know my points now where I'm like, Scott, you need to take a step back because you're going to drive yourself into the ground. I won't get to that because I can't risk getting to that point now. Uh, I don't, I, I just wouldn't let myself um, go down that road. I've done that before where I've tried doing a lot of things at once and it just didn't work. And this is the exciting part, right? I've never created or started a business. I've always wanted to. I was always nervous. I never felt ready. Whereas I've never felt so determined and just ready to be honest with you i have so many ideas so many things i want to do with this business this brand and how so many people i want to help and like the fact of knowing that there's so much i can do and how much time that's the thing how much time i have to achieve all these things it's like there's no rush so just take every day as it comes build up nice and slowly and we're going to make something happen but i've been at the grange now what well, this is going to be the eighth month I've learned a lot, but I feel like it's now time to sort of transition into doing my own thing and gain experience elsewhere. So thank you guys for watching this video. You're amazing. This is the first one after the 12 week cut. And I can honestly say, I'm just going to bring it even more. I'm going to try and get some help, film some really sick content and just some of the stuff that I'm going to try and bring out with clients. Yeah. A lot of planning to do, a lot of planning to do, but just keep an eye out and things will start to unfold within the next couple of months. I love you guys. Honestly, like I, I generally fucking, you guys are the best. Okay. Like seriously. See you in a bit.